On this day, February 24th, in 1815, Robert Fulton died in New York City. Born on a farm in Little Britain, Pennsylvania, on November 14th, 1765, to a moderately wealthy family. He spent six years in Philadelphia painting and drawing, making enough money to send some home to his mother, and in 1785, he bought a farm in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Three years later, he traveled to Europe, he would stay there for the next 20 years. He studied painting with Benjamin West in England, and he again supported himself with commissions of portraits and landscapes. He started experimenting with mechanical inventions as he had previously. For a time, he dedicated himself to various aspects of canals, including tugboat canals with inclined planes instead of locks and patenting a dredging machine. In 1793, Fulton had started drafting plans for a steam vessel, the first steamships being reported in France in 1776 and in the U.S. in 1787. Fulton then went to Paris in 1797, and his reputation for invention continued to grow. While in Paris, he studied French, German, mathematics, and chemistry. He developed torpedoes and a functional muscle-powered submarine. The submarine operated for 17 minutes in 25 feet of water. He tried to sell it to the French government and was turned down twice before Napoleon Bonaparte's Minister of Marine commissioned Fulton to build his submarine in 1800. Robert Livingston was appointed U.S. Ambassador to France in 1801, and when the two men met, they began collaborating to build a steamboat with some limited success in France. In 1806, after a return to Britain, developing weapons for the Royal Navy until the Battle of Trafalgar rendered the French Navy a nominal risk to Britain and Fulton's innovations and extravagance. Fulton returned to the U.S. and by 1807, with assistance from Livingston, he built the North River Steamboat, later known as the Claremont. This was the first commercially viable and successful steamboat routinely shuttling passengers between New York City and Albany, New York. In 1808, Fulton married Harriet Livingston, Robert Livingston's niece. The marriage resulted in four children. He continued to promote and develop steamboats, changing the face of American commerce. In 1815, while walking home on the frozen Hudson River, also known as the North River, a friend fell through the ice Fulton rescued his friend, getting soaked with icy water. It was believed that this led him to contract pneumonia. He was instead diagnosed with consumption, now called tuberculosis, and that is the condition from which he succumbed on February 24, 1815, at 49 years old. He was buried in Trinity Church Cemetery in Manhattan, near other notables, such as Alexander Hamilton a fitting location for someone who ushered in the modernization of the young country. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.